Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for all the support. I hope you are feeling great as you head out of your season. I mentioned this in one of the readings earlier that I feel like Aries season kicks off the whole year. I know it doesn't, but it just feels that way, doesn't it? And um, again, I appreciate you all very much and send you love and positive energy throughout every reading. And if you're new here, welcome to you. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are a general reading. Mondays are something different every week. So one week it'll be a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. Next week we're going to have a four month predictive reading and I don't do those very often. So look out for that. And then I recently added a Law of Attraction tarot card reading. I think I'm going to keep that one around periodically. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. Okay, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Aries. Messages for Aries, please. So we'll start here with the tarot and then we'll have the angel answers. All right, so we start off here with the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the King of Cups. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Six of Cups, interesting, we've got two sixes here, and the Emperor, very positive, I like this. Well, I definitely got up here, um, so you're going to get some kind of good news about money or work, okay? You've got good news is on the way showing up here. You have Aries here and Libra, you've got water here, fire, and earth, but you know, you've got with the three earth cards that are here, I definitely feel like you're going to be making financial gains, and some of you, that may be where your attention has been. And it's kind of like you're, you put in all this work and now you're waiting for the return. Well, the return is here. So with the Queen of Pentacles, she can spin straw to gold. You're going to have a wonderful facility for having problem-solving skills. Anything to do with um, <clears throat> signing contracts or anything to do with buying a house or finance. This is a wonderful card for that kind of energy. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, too, though, you have it with justice as well, but... It, she has a very balanced life, so she can do it all. She can, you know, have a, a flourishing career, then go to a soccer game, then go to, you know, go be uh, go out to dinner with her significant other, okay? So it's like this kind of energy where you don't get tired out. You have a very good, um, like, almost time management system, too. So I feel like you're going to be judicious about what things you take on and what you don't. But this is definitely a card of promotion, Things around you are flourishing. It's also a card that connects you to your, your community. So if you do anything in human services or healthcare or something like that, it's definitely part of your life's purpose here. This is a card of mastery. So it's mastery of money, of the material, and also of your of your physical body too. So it's a very good card for you in terms of health and uh, anything to do with the physical plane. So. With the Six of Pentacles showing up, you've got reciprocity. So anything that you put out, you're going to get back. Of course, we know that anyway, but the cards say it in a little different way. This is one of those things where any jobs that you do, you're, you're going to be compensated well for them. There's a give and take here. Now, for those of you, too, that this is about a relationship for you, there may be something about this that... Uh, Getting into a more serious relationship also brings financial stability and comfort. And it's not that they're going to be paying all your bills or vice versa. It's just like being in a mutual kind of situation. Although I do feel like one of you might have a little more. It might be the other person here. Um, you definitely have a very strong reading in terms of the truth and honesty and relationships that are built on a very solid foundation. So I don't see anything to be afraid of or like there's some sort of... Uh, secondary gain for being in a relationship. It's nothing like that. Sixes are definitely a very beautiful kind of energy that bring in symmetry and balance. So there's nothing out of whack here. Now this nine of wands was the card we kind of dabbled in at the beginning in terms of putting a lot of effort into something. Nines are about completion though. So whatever you've been doing here, 
you know, maybe for some of you, you've really been focused on money or on a house or something like that. It just feel that way. Like some somebody here, <clears throat> if it's been fixing up a house to sell it or even a new house and you're, you've been just focused on painting and doing things just to make it feel like your own home, I do feel like this cycle has ended. You're completing that, anything that you've done there. He is the wounded warrior though too. So I do feel like it's come with a bit of a shock to the system in a way, like you got sick of it by the end. And sometimes Aries can be known for that, getting hot off to a hot start on a project and having a hard time finishing it. You get go, 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 go. And then the, the gas runs out. You get kind of burned out from it. So with this, it's coming to an end. You might have to push yourself across the finish line with whatever this is, but I do feel like you'll do it. You won't leave unfinished business, but it's still a bit of a challenging energy. Well, the King of Cups comes in here, and I very much like this. When I see this together in terms of a relationship, some of you, I, got, I don't know if you're going to go to the justice of the peace with this or what. That's fine. Courthouse weddings. Why not spend all the money in you know, on a, on a ceremony, if it's just going to put you into debt, but either way with this, it's definitely, um, a relationship where you can be completely honest up front. It's like, what you see is what you get. But with the King of Cups, you've got a wonderful confidant. This is a, an energy of maturity, of mature love. And the King of Cups, whoever this is, could be a water sign, but you do have quite a bit of earth here too. Uh, with this energy, they, you know, they can, they can hear anything and just have no judgment about it. It just doesn't, they don't, their mind just doesn't get crazy about what, what does this mean and that sort of thing. Again, it's somebody who's mature and who can give themselves to a relationship who's emotionally, the King of Cups is very emotionally available. So this also too could symbolize you at the end of a project here, allowing yourself to be open to love, to be ready for love. And somebody here, I feel like you are very, specific with that. If you're not in the right mindset for a relationship, you will not get involved with people. And it's it's like you know yourself well enough to know when it's a good idea and when it's probably not. But with the King of Cups as well, it's also a card of self-development. So somebody here, I feel like you've gotten um, more of a skill set too. And it, again, it could be those of you that have been working on some kind of a house that also gave you a skill set you might not have ever really wanted to develop, but you got it anyway. Others of you, though, it could be more on that spiritual level, really getting to understand who you are, why you're here. And that's going to help you to manifest things with ease. It's going to help you to have a life that's really in flow. This is a beautiful energy for living a great life. So the Knight of Pentacles comes in with good news. And Knights are of service. So he may be delivering a financial message that you've been waiting on. And you have several, like I said, several cards here that indicate financial gains. But he also brings in long-term success, long-term stability in relationships and financial. So with the Knight of Pentacles, I do feel like if you've been waiting on something to develop, it may have gone along rather slowly, but it's been very, um, oh, what's the word? Um, it's like very painstaking, like you're doing it but you're getting it right along the way. So there's no mistakes here. There's no going back and having to fix anything. And I feel like it's been kind of this work in progress that you know is evolving and in a very positive way though. So with justice being here, justice is an interesting card because it is about the absolute truth. I do like it very much for relationships because there's nothing about this that's questionable. It's a card of fairness. It also can represent law enforcement attorneys and judges. So maybe you're attracting somebody who's in law enforcement, but it's balance in all things. So if we think that a situation has been unfair, the universe has a beautiful way of delivering fairness every single time when you see this. So if somebody treated you wrong, well, the universe will bring back to them what they are, okay? So you don't even have to do anything. Let the universe handle them. But it really is about really having balance in your life. And for some of you too, I feel like you'll be very judicious with relationships. You won't go into something that doesn't make sense. Like I said that before, it comes in again with this, where you will cut out people, places, and things that just don't, aren't a match for you. And it doesn't have to be ruthless. If there's somebody in your life that you're thinking, yeah, I do need to cut them out. It's just not good for me anymore. It's okay, but it does, it's, it's like you can do it in a way 
that doesn't have to be um, in your face, right? With this energy, you may just drift away from them and that's okay too. So the Six of Cups here is a beautiful energy of reciprocity again and things being resolved too. You have that throughout the reading that there's a resolution coming. This brings in happiness and harmony and it really is a caring for one another. This also can involve children. So if there's something that you do for work that involves children or caretaking in a way, this shows it as a very happy decision, a happy part of your life, a part that's evolving and developing. It can be the return of someone, but it also can be what I feel like it's more here is somebody that you have a lot in common with, that you have a lot of, and you've got it too with that emperor energy. A lot is, there's a lot of connection here. So if it's somebody new in your life, you may feel like things just clicked right away. And with the emperor here, well, the Emperor is such a, a strong energy for you anyway. You're going to feel very confident in this energy, very secure in your life. There's no second guessing here. And it really is a card of structure and confidence like we talked about. But it also, too, it's an interesting card because it's like doing things the right way. He governs, he's the architect of the universe, by the way, but he governs like socially acceptable behaviors. So if you have somebody in your life too has been very immature, you've got a very mature energy here. I just don't see you making a lot of time for them. Um, with this though, it really does show, again, a card of balance and attracting someone in your life that can be very upfront and honest and candid. And I think you're really going to appreciate that. So let's see here what the angels have to say for Aries, please. Messages for Aries. What else does Aries need to know? Okay, we've got here meditation brings answers. So we definitely didn't talk about that, so they must have thought it was important to bring it up. Be assertive. You've got a very confident, powerful energy where things are being resolved, so be assertive with that. And they say trust, okay? Trust that the universe always hears your heart within the next few weeks, so things are moving forward. And you've got don't stop, Aries. Good things are on the way for you. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.